Now let's have some fun and unbox this, see what is actually inside. The pharmacist here down the street already pissed me off because she asked me why I am a man taking medication for ovulation in the woman. People don't know what the hell they are selling. What's up folks, it's Uranus, we're in Brussels, welcome to another video. Today we're talking about HCG or human chorionic gonadotropin and what the differences are between traditionally sold HCG like under the brand names of Pregnil and Brevactid, the traditional forms of HCG and this newly Ovitrel HCG. A lot of guys on testosterone replacement therapy or TRT are using HCG to keep testicular function alive. After all, if you're on TRT, it's pretty much the only way that you will have to still have activity down there because your pituitary gland will not release any LH anymore. Now, Pregnil was our traditional brand of HCG here in Belgium until it was completely removed from the market just about 18 months ago. It has now been replaced by Ovitrel. It was replaced because the product was abused by idiots on the HCG diet and on people using it for performance enhancing drugs. In Belgium, our medical system was covering 90% of the costs of Pregnil. A box like this would cost the end consumer like me just 4 or 5 euros. It has been removed and Ovitril is now available with this cost just about 45 euros for 6,500 units. I will be unboxing this newly form of HCG that is quite expensive with you guys and we're gonna be talking about the differences between the traditional HCG and this one because there are some differences and no one is talking to you about this. All right, let's get to it. C'est parti. In women, it stimulates ovulation and in men, it mimics LH or luteinizing hormone. Now, in an environment or of hypogonadism or low testosterone, it can be used as a solo form of therapy or then on HCG monotherapy. I was on that treatment for just about two years. If you want, I made a video about my experience with HCG monotherapy. But the other option and the much more popular option is to add small dosages of HCG to a testosterone replacement therapy protocol. There are a lot of benefits like keeping testicular function alive, that's the main benefit, but there are also other benefits like the production of neurosteroids, your own DHEA and so on. Some people that take HCG have more of a sense of well-being. Dosages can go from anywhere from 250 IUs per week to 1500 IUs per week depending on how your balls are actually reacting to this product. Now what are the differences between HCG and gonadotropin alpha? Well it's the H part, the human part. In this German brand for example this is extracted from the urine of pregnant woman. I believe it is produced during the placenta and it is extracted in the urine. So German ladies had to pee in a pot so that I could import this product. The other one, Ovitrel, is 100% genetically made in a lab from modified, genetically modified cell. No urine has been used whatsoever to achieve this product. So the way of production is completely different, but supposedly they do exactly the same thing in the body. Now, as far as I know, there are no medical studies that are actually proving this. There are some variations between both products because this one, made 100% in the lab, is supposed to be more pure and more consistent than the other one because it is not extracted from pee and there are some variations in the pee. But as I said, as of today, there are no medical studies to prove the difference between one and the other one. Now let's have some fun and unbox this, see what is actually inside. The pharmacist here down the street already pissed me off because she asked me why I am a man taking medication for ovulation in the woman. People don't know what the hell they are selling. All right, let's open this thing. So, of course, it has to be kept in a fridge just like any form of HCG or human chorionic gonadotropin. The box contains one pre-filled pen with 0.5 milliliter of solution and two injection needles. Each pen contains 250 micrograms or 6,500 I use of HCG. It's made from Merck, more Germans. All right, let's open her up. So we have two injection needles. Those are probably ones you screw on top of the pen. I already used that concept a while ago before with a growth hormone pen. 
We have quite a big booklet containing detailed explanation as how to administer the product step by step. And we have the traditional leaflet about the composition and the regular warnings, side effects, allergies and responsibilities and so on. Finally, the pen itself. Man, this looks exactly like my father's insulin pen. That is not a lot of liquid for 6,500 IUs, guys. All the traditional HCG I've ever used came in dried frozen form and then you had to reconstitute it with stellar water or preferably bacteriostatic water. So this does not contain a lot of liquid at all. Usually I added 1 milliliter in 1,500 IU vials and if I wanted to use 500 IUs, it was easy. That was 0.33 milliliter. Now it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So 250 micrograms is 6,500 IUs. I want to keep using 500 IUs per shot. So that's 250 divided by 6,500 times 500. That's 19.2 micrograms. There is a mechanism here. It's in micrograms. So I just will have to dial it to 19, screw the needle on top and present it to my ass cheeks. I have to say this gives me less freedom than what I had before with my traditional HCG and my pregnant with the good old bacteriostatic water. It's doable, but it's going to be a little bit more complicated. Proportionally, if you calculate the cost, Ovitrel is going to cost me six times more than what HCG or what Pregnil was costing me. Also, I really don't understand why it says in the instruction that the pen is single use. Who the hell is going to inject 6,500 IUs of HCG at once? I mean, maybe those dosages are necessary for stimulating ovulation in women, but in men, actually, if you invite, if you inject 6,500 IUs at once, your balls are going to be in overdrive completely. That's a huge dosage to inject at once. Also, why are they giving two needles if it's single use? It's, it's if you bend the needle or whatever. So you're supposed to use all of that at once, which is quite crazy. I heard this desensitization of the lighting cells in your testicles can happen with bigger dosages. Also, all of the instructions and the drawings in the user manuals are all clearly designed for women. But what about men, since we also take HCG? Why is it all about women? Because men, you need it for HRT and fertility too. For the moment, I will keep on using the HCG. I still have in the fridge under the forms of Pregnil and Brevactid. I'm importing for another from another country. But eventually, I will switch over to the Ovitrel that is six times more expensive. I will see how my brain, my balls, and my blood work look on this new Ovitrel product. All right, guys, that was my take on HCG versus the new Alpha version. Let me know if you have HCG included in your protocol. Did you ever do HCG monotherapy? Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. Is Ovitrel also available in your country? Can you do the YouTube thing? Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the next one. Uranus. Out.